Welcome back, Hermit fans. We are back at the Civil Hub because I was told that it uh, replenishes stock every 12 hours. So, um, as you can see, I've gotten a lot of stuff. Some great food again. These EVA boosts, some more food, decontamination kits. And this here I'm excited about, some emergency rations, 500 food, 50 health, 70 stamina. I've managed to find two multi-tools, which I obviously already have, multi-charges, all kinds of other stuff. Um, so we're just kind of going through room to room here again. Um, I think I've already been in this one, actually this is the one I came in. I think I've officially searched everything I can search. Armor locker. O2 is already full. I did top it off at a station because we used it when we went in the water a little bit. So I believe this is where I came in. Maybe not. Maybe we don't know what we're talking about. I'm right there. So we're going to cruise right over there to the trading station. I don't remember if we got much out of there, but... We're still going to go check it out. Um, on my way over here, I did go the wrong direction. I think this might be a... Yep, that is a spot to land. So we're going to park it right there. And... Uh, see these here, we can't access these, so I'm thinking there's nothing we ended up being able to get here. They're all, yeah, can't access another faction, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like we're going to head back towards home. But anyway, on my way here, I went the wrong direction. I went southwest instead of southeast. Found another Promethean deposit, which looks like it actually has quite a bit more than this one even. So we may, may go raid that. Um, yeah, maybe just go fly around down here. See if we can't find, we still really need an iron deposit. Research sites. This is us. Copper. There's a little bit of this Promethean deposit left. Um, maybe while we're here, let's just go hit it. Uh, which direction do we gotta go? We gotta go slightly northeast. Right there it is. Ooh, we went by it. Uh oh.
we fell down in our hole. And now we are stuck. We gotta figure out which way our ship is pointing where it is. Right, so we're actually pointing up at the sky. Ourselves flipped over. I think we left power on, shut it off so we don't run out of juice. Alright, and here is our mine entrance. So I'm going to drill for a little while and bring you back when we're ready to leave the mine. Alright, so we mined that mine completely out. Got another 36 promethean ore. Not much, but hey, it'll go somewhere. So now we need to head northwest. Head home. Alright, we'll see you when we get home. Alright, looks like we're headed for home sweet home here. We do need to make a official landing pad, I think. Let's check our fuel levels. We're at 92 percent. Not bad. Pop it off there. And uh, go distribute our loot. Put it away. First things first. Let's hit the fridge and get the nice thing about these emergency rations is they have no uh, perish time. Um, do we have any other food? I think that might be it for the food. Oh yeah, we got the sniper upgrade kit too. So I'll be excited to uh, try... Oh, milk. It's only got nine left on the parish time. Um, the other thing we did before we left. Oh, I forgot I canceled it to make something else. So let's get it going right now. Well, let's maybe drop all this stuff in here real quick. Cobalt, copper, glass plates, casters, hardened steel. These things I think will go over in our other thing. Okay, so before we left, my plan was to start food processor because that's another item we're going to need. I 
don't know if you can like deconstruct those. I guess I've got some extra multi tools, multi charge kit. I need to make a medic box that's nothing but medical supplies because I got antibiotic injections. Um, that's not really medical. I got a detox kit, restores around 250 health, and it's effective against indigestion, poison food, poison something, intoxication, fever attack, organ failure. A decontamination kit. Again, 250 health, good against like uh, parasites, radiation stuff, and I got some antibiotic pills. Um, as well as quite a bit of bandages, let's put half away. So yeah, oh, here's another one, jetpack boost. Yes, 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 and that can go in there. I think the next step is going to be working on adding on to our base, making our, our garden, our farm, Come over here. I know I've got some in here. Ooh, I got some stuff on my toolbar here that needs to. I apparently ran out of room. Okay, so let's go to the fridge. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and Turn that into an energy bar. Don't know why it's not going. Um, what was I doing? Put that in there, put that in there. I got 596 crushed stone. That's pretty good. Anything happen? Okay, it's going now. Um, so then we want to take this, add it to that. We got our drill, which we may need. Kind of waiting for that to finish so we can put it in the fridge. I'm not at the fridge. So... Some of this other stuff, this ham and this milk, I think will be good in the food processor for making into something. Don't know what yet, but something. Okay, so then let's just go ahead and put that away. Oh yeah, we got nine of those. That's pretty good. Let's go see what we can do on our base out here and work towards... Okay, so we're going to have to take that out. I didn't bring my multi-tool. Because I'm going to need the multi-tool. Because we're going to take some stuff out. And make room for more. Multi-tool. Yes, let's just go ahead and bring our texture tool as well. I think the multi-tool has a full charge. We're not going to worry about getting anything else right now or having any extra power for it. So five.
think we're going to need to drill out a little bit more here. Alright, let's see where that gets us. Six. I think. a lot of these are actually going to come out and be replaced with planters but for the time being we're just going to put in a floor just so we can get this built at least Oops. This might be pretty good. Actually, though, got it built like that, but I think oh, that'll be all right. I just won't build on the outsides because it's the curved ones anyway. Do this. I almost want to build it. I really want it flip flopped around and on the outside. Oh, come on. that. The reason being is because if you flip it the other way, so like the inside of the cube when you build it is on the inside, these blocks will be unusable like I won't be able to put grow lights above them it'll just be useless so this is good I like this so far um, we need this one put that there like that and then go over here Flip it all the way around, put it there. All right, now close off our seal. How are we going to do that? Well, there's got to be a triangle one we can make, huh? Maybe. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Something like this here. forward, I said the wrong button. Okay.
not a big enough slope. That one right there, that's the ticket. Except for it's gotta be flip flop the other way. Yeah, we're getting it. Look at this. Okay, so now. Oh, yeah. Now we need some regular walls. We've got like. If I just do this, oh, it's still yeah, just like that. That's the way I want it. Look at this! The garden's coming together. Whoops. I done did something I didn't want to do. This is my multi tool, yes. Okay, so now back to the wood blocks. Now we gotta get these. It's all boxed in. Now we gotta go decide what wall to take out here. I think in the center one right there. Look at that. We gotta walk through right into our new area. Now we gotta pick out how we want it to look. Um, this here has kind of been our. Oops. There, we don't want to apply to the whole block. Eventually, want to put a door in here. That's very minute at this point. Um, what about floor? I want to do our floor. What do we have as the floor? This? No. No. Where is it? I know that's not it, I just wanted to see what that looked like. I swear it's this one. Why is it so white? I wonder if that's because that's concrete. Texturing the floor is, again, another moot point because we're going to be replacing most of those floor tiles with pots anyway. But for now, good enough. Let's put our texture tool back. Let's put our multi-tool back. Keep the chainsaw, keep the get rid of those extra blocks. That block can go there. Yeah, see there was some concrete because we took it out to make that's how we got those blocks. Um, um, um. What do we want to do next? I think we need to work on making the pots. Oh, I bet you our food processor. Yeah, we gotta put this in somewhere. 
thinking maybe right over let's put it by the fridge that makes sense doesn't it boom look at that so there's all kinds of stuff we can make we can make cheese out of our milk gotta get a lot of stuff to make that Oh man, those are nice. Canned meat, which makes sense. Long perish time. We just need meat, spice, and purified water. And the meat will be easy to get to as we start uh, actually killing some stuff. But this is what I really want. Um, and, where is it? Did they move it? Oh, right there. Stone dust, purified water, and spoiled food. All of which we have. Because we had stockpiled all our spoiled food. Because I knew we'd be able to use it. And I'm not sure if we have any stone dust made. Not much. So let's knock some of that out. Kind of like you knock out some water. The magic of pause recording. Should we go into the same stack? All right, so now we're going to go over here. We're going to drop our ingredients in there. Um, let's see, how many does this take? Oh yeah, we got enough that we can make ten of those. Let that work. The next big thing I think before I even make my grill lights is I think we need to expand our solar paneling. I think we definitely need to up that. Um, can I make a medic bay yet? Um, skill tree. Ooh, we got a research our plant grill light. There we go. Now we can make that. Um, no, not until level 10. So yeah, what are we doing on that? Okay, we got a couple solar panels. figure out oh I'm gonna have to oh no I don't have to I thought I was gonna have to put something else down so I can see better. I see I don't want it all the way up there. I want it down here. Take our drill. Not because I don't think they need to be uncovered for this. 
I want to be able to see the lights on them. I think I gotta drill some more out in order to make it even work. I'm making a little bit of an underground bunker base here. All right, let's see how we come out here. Does that line up? I think that does. Yeah, it does. Lines up. Same height there. So now we can just finish drilling it out. To be honest, my first base I built was especially the solar panels, was not any sort of nice symmetrical thing at all. I just plopped a truckload of solar panels everywhere. So this time I'm trying to keep a nice looking base. Fix those from the top. So yeah, now we got some more solar panel here. Should kick out some more power. Whoops, I wanted to stay in there. Keep our batteries charged. And the big reason we need more solar panels, and I'll probably end up and a couple on the sides here too and really should probably plop some blocks in there so it doesn't look so goofy um, the grill lights that we're gonna make are going to consume a good deal of power pop that over here um, building blocks Real pot concrete. And I think we're going to make them out of concrete just because why not? We're going to start with 10. And kind of go from there. Oh, we're going to need our multi tool again. Uh, multi tool. Whoops. See, I didn't want to do that. I guess not a big deal, really. That one's missing. But let's grab a couple of these before I take out a bunch. Let's make sure this is going to work the way we want. Girl pot there. Yeah, 
It's going to be perfect. And then maybe we'll leave a walkway down the middle and have some on each side for now. All right, so I'm going to get this done. All right, we had to do a little rearranging. We had an issue with the ceiling where, like I said, on the walls, they were facing the wrong direction. So when I placed my lights, they were like floating in midair, like this one right here that we can take out now. So now we got um, at least all grill lights on this side, two on this side, so I still gotta make six more grill lights. Um, the other thing I gotta do is, uh, well, eat some food. Um, that would certainly help. Um, let's eat a couple of these. It's enough to boost us up a little bit. Alright, so anyway, the thing I need to do is because I had to take out the ceiling means I had to take out my Gatlin gun, my sentry gun, to redo the roof. So now, oh, will it not let me place it up here now because of that? It is. Now I can't place anything. Well, yeah, so kind of is what it is there. Maybe I'll take out that nice curve. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but it's down now, hopefully doing its job. Actually, let's go, let's check this out, because since we had to rebuild it, I'm going to guess we have to redo, yes, all right, and Oh, it doesn't have much for bullets. I wonder if it had shot stuff down at some point. It means we need to make some more of those. Oh, let's combine those. We got some concrete blocks from some rework. Um, what else can we make right now? So nothing real important there. So I think we do need to make some more projectile rifle rounds. Put us back up to like 250. Um, we're going to want to... Uh, we we'll do some more exploring soon and definitely get some more stuff. So let's look at this. What can we get to start getting some stuff growing? Um, where's the spice? I know I want to get some spice going. A spice right there. It takes two spice. And that other stuff. I know I have two spice in the fridge. It's kind of a temporary sacrifice here. We're going to turn those two spice into two plants. We'll get them growing. We can harvest them, make them spread. Take this. 
All right, so growth time is 30 minutes. So that means every 30 minutes, we'll be able to harvest more spice. So there we go, we got two growing. Put that in there. I'll take that out of there, it doesn't do much good in there. Put this stuff in here. I honestly think I'm done with my multi-tool, my texture tool for now, at least. And we come in here. These are done. I think it's time for an exploring mission. I'm kind of low on food, but I'm going to bank that I can find some. So we are going to go on a mission here. We'll see you when we get somewhere. All right, so we took a gamble. We came back to the civil hub to uh, see if enough time has hopefully passed that we can replunder and it looks like we can so we're gonna see how much goodies we can find here because we can use all the materials we can get what is that I think I already have some of that some more plastic that's good because I know we have used that Ooh, a good deal of plastic there. So let's start at the beginning here. And uh, the thing I love to find here is the food. And now we know to always check this because it's got medical supplies in it. There's anything else in here? So yeah, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna gather all the stuff. And we're gonna gonna head back. Ooh, fried vegetables. And uh, probably take a look at our tech tree and see what we want to research next, where we want to go. Um, because ooh, gold coins. To convert into credits, place it in the ATM deposit slot. It's the first time we've hit, gotten that. But I think we're to the point where we want to start thinking about a bigger ship and uh, what materials we're going to need. Salami. And maybe try to get to another planet. Good against indigestion. in there so yeah we'll see you when we're done raiding the place up here all right so I decided to stop by the trading station because we picked up two multi tools so how do we do this I want to sell. Oh, that's a T2 multi-tool. I've just got the regular multi-tool. Multi-tool. Is he buying that? Like this is this insulation boost. Gives me heat and cold protection I think I should hold on to that for now I was really just hoping to sell those multi tools because I've got like four extra ones right now so yeah I guess I don't know about that 
And that could sell out for a pretty good deal. How about an ATM? Is there an ATM? Because I got these gold coins. Yeah, so now I've got 50 credits. So what if I go back here? Does it say? Yep. I've got 50 credits. Huh. All right. Well, so much for that. It was a good thought anyway. So we'll see you back at base. I thought this is beautiful. We're flying off towards the sunset. Yeah, that's really all I brought, brought you back for. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we're back. Let's check out our plunder. And most importantly, let's get our refrigerated items in the refrigerator immediately. We don't want our food spoiling on us. I need to go out just looking for extra spice. I also need to gather enough vegetables to plant vegetables. So we got some multi-charges, plastic, some different ingots, wood planks, drill charges, iron ingots, mechanical components, nanotubes, multi-tools, we got these energy matrix, copper ore, um, you know some decontam decontamination kits, insulin boost, insulation boost, oh man I can't talk. Um, so nothing super amazing that run. wish I gotta look up and see if there's a way I can break those down like I want to disassemble them mm, my body's hungry I gotta eat something oops I don't want the food processor anyway I want the fridge um what's gonna give me a decent amount of food Let's just eat a couple energy bars again. It's enough to get us up there a little bit. Let's go check on our plants here. Our spice is growing. Very good. Um, let's put away these extra multi-tools. See what I'm saying? I've got four there plus my main one. Crazy. We got that. Uh, so now we got an insulation boost, jetpack boost, and an EVA boost. I wonder if. How does that work? How do I use that on my armor? Is it something like I have to put it in an armor locker maybe to uh, to do? Looks like I'll have some research to do there. Um, in the meantime, let's go see. I don't remember if I produced any water lately. I did. probably don't need any more that bad but it's kind of one of those things that why not how many jugs of water I got 25 jugs of water in here now so we're doing pretty good there uh, biofuel that's what I was, I was gonna make some more biofuel let's make like six more of those only takes plant fibers, which are trees. Oh yeah, we were gonna look at our tech tree. Fuel tank. I 
that's if we want a generator. And at this point, I'm not even running a generator. I'm trying to do everything off solar power. Those are more generators, elevator blocks. Um, we could start looking at um, the cannon turret, unlocking that, which will then unlock some more. Let's go ahead and unlock it so we can look at it. Because the one thing I did notice is this, the range is 415 meters. Our sentry gun is only 193. So it's got twice the range, although the damage is lower. But I think that would be a good combo. This is going to pick it up and start shooting at those drones further out. And if they do get closer, this will start inflicting more damage. Um, this here, I'm going to guess the rockets are expensive to make, like cost a lot. But the damage is 502 and the range is 511, so pretty incredible. This baby here has got almost a 500 meter range and a 2,212 damage, which of course it's an artillery turret. So yeah, a lot of good stuff there. Um, we're not too far off being able to get the advanced constructor. The medical station we're definitely going to do when we can. Um, I think a repair station might be good. I think the repair bay is for ships. Um, so yeah, let's maybe go down this path. Let's get an armor locker. so we can get a repair station because or no it's not the repair yeah repair station so we can repair any damaged stuff yeah we're gonna think of that think about that um and on the next episode we're gonna start moving forward um, a lot of these things, like I'm not going to build a vessel not off a blueprint. And what I found is with a blueprint, you don't even have to have the skills. If you have the blueprint, you can just kind of automatically do it, which is it may be cheatery. I don't know, but it certainly works. Um, it might be kind of nice portable work light when we're building. There's a small portable work light we can do now. The T2 drill. Um, I'm going to guess that's what's well, current durability is 500, 500, range 2, 750, range 7, reload times 2.9, 3.1. So basically, it looks like uh, you just don't have to be as close to drill with it, which could be nice. Um, it uses a drill charge though instead of biofuel. And uh, as an example here, where is where is it there? Where's our drill charge? Maybe it's here. Multi charge. Oh, I can't even make the drill charge yet because I don't have the skill. But it it takes Promethean pellets. And you know, those are a little bit more rare resource. The biofuel we can flat out manufacture out of trees. We're not gonna run out of trees anytime soon. Um, I haven't ventured to another planet yet, but I'm guessing we go to another planet, there may not be trees, but maybe there's a lot of Promethean pellets to mine. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next time, Warner Hermit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, check out that Patreon page. Subscribe to our YouTube. Keep following along on our adventures. Sometimes our misadventures. Winter Hermit, see ya.